Hello everyone and welcome to Collection Reflection. Today we will be reflecting on The Hulk from Marvel's Mech Strike Mechasaurs. And before we check out this figure, let's take a look at his packaging. As you can see here, the Hulk comes in a windowless, plastic-free packaging. Here we can see how tall the figure is. He's going to stand about 4.5 inches or a little bit over 11 centimeters. On the side of the box you get some really cool artwork and a rendition of the figure with his accessories. On the back you get the figure posed up again with his accessories and here's everything that comes included in the box with some legal nonsense. And the other side just shows off more of that great artwork. I'm actually kind of excited to see if we get any of these pterodactyl figures. There is your top, here is your bottom. At first, I really wasn't a fan of the expression that they chose for him, but the more I look at it, the more I like the details and how deep the sculpt goes. There just seems to be a lot of emotion behind this face, even if it's not the emotion that I associate with the Hulk. I think the head sculpt might have been a little bit better if they would have either chose a different face or a different haircut, because the haircut looks like fun, cool, new Hulk, and the face looks like old, grumpy, angry Hulk. Moving down to the rest of the body, you can see how nicely they sculpted all of the muscles. And in hand, this figure actually has a little bit of heft to him, which I do appreciate. It makes him feel a lot bigger than he really is. I like the design that they chose for the pants, and one of my favorite aspects of them is that they're a little rubbery, so they will move out of the way for his articulation. I thought that was a brilliant idea. And as you can see there, they even sculpted his toes and his toenails. And there's the bottom of his feet. I'm not sure how I feel about the way that they sculpted his hands and his feet. They're pointed away from the joint, so they're a little offset. Which means, when you go to bend his elbow, you think you're supposed to be able to bend it up and down like this. But it actually bends more this way. Maybe they just sculpted it that way for his accessories, or maybe there's a reason that I'm not quite understanding. But I do appreciate the open gripping hands that they gave him. It would have been cool to see some fists, but I like the option of being able to hold things if he wants to. Let's move on to the articulation. He has a ball joint in the head that will allow for 360. He looks up that far and down that far, and there's not really much tilt. His arms can go a little past horizontal. He's got a 360 in the shoulder. His biceps go less than 90, and I think it's just because he's so thick in the arms. He has an elbow swivel, nothing in the wrists or the waist. The Hulk can get a full split. How many of your other Hulk figures can do that? He can kick forward and back that far. He has a bend in the knee that is less than 90, even though the pants can move out of the way. And the knee rotates. That's all for his articulation. Let's move on to his accessories. The Hulk is going to come with two Triceratops gauntlets that you can clip onto his wrists and that way he can punch people with the power of a dinosaur. They even put some sculpted detail on the inside of the Triceratops, which I think is really cool. And there you can see the C-clip that you'll be using to attach to the figure. It almost looks like these could be blasters or guns of some kind. So maybe this isn't just to increase his punching power. It could also be used to give him some range. But his wrists are so massive that I'm not sure how long you're going to want to keep them on the figure before they just loosen up altogether. Let's go ahead and check out some comparisons. Starting off our comparisons with a couple of the other Hulk figures I have. On the left, we have the Marvel Retro series, and on the right, we have the original Mech Strike Hulk. I think the Epic Hero series Hulk is clearly the best one out of the three. I like his articulation, his proportions, and his sculpt much more than for the other two Hulks. Next up we have the Mech Strike Thanos and the Game Reverse Abomination. It looks like Abomination may be a little bit too tall, 
but if you remember in the video game, he's almost twice the height as Hulk. So I think there are some instances where this scale might work. Here are some Marvel Legends that I've previously reviewed. We have Zombie Iron Man and Jigsaw. You can see how the Hulk scales with some other green Goliaths. At the 5 inch scale we have a couple other beefcakes from Dragon Ball Super. Here's Broly and Jiren. Hulk reaches to their shoulder. Looking at a couple of Venoms, we have the Epic Hero series and the Marvel Retro series. I think both of these Venoms actually go very well with this Hulk. Looking at a couple of DC Spin Masters, we have Solomon Grundy and Killer Croc. From the final faction, we have the P-131 and the Karn Brute. I'm really liking how these figures scale with each other. Finally, we have Pumpkin Rapper's Head. I'm actually enjoying this figure a lot more than I thought I would. I've been really interested in seeing what Marvel could do if they applied Spin Master's articulation with their own figures. And it seems that this new Epic Hero series is a great combination of both. Even though Hulk is a little bit more pricey than the other basic figures in the line, at a price point of around $15, I still think you should collect this figure. He's big, bulky, and he's got enough articulation to make him fun to play with and pose around. I would have preferred a different head sculpt, maybe one more like the artwork, because right now he just looks more annoyed than angry. As far as possible improvements that I could make to this figure, the biggest thing I think this figure is missing is a waist swivel. But I have no idea if this guy is hollow in the middle or if he's solid plastic all the way through. He feels pretty chunky, but there's a good chance that he could be hollow right where I need to cut. So let me know in the comments below, have you cut open any of these figures? If so, are they hollow or are they solid? I'd really appreciate any information you guys have. Are you enjoying the Epic Hero series so far? I think I am, and I'm probably going to try to pick up one of those Mechasaur 2-packs. But let me know if you'd be interested in watching any of those reviews. Also, if you decided that you liked this video, Please make sure to comment and subscribe and share it to every single person you know. I genuinely appreciate all of you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had a nice chuckle. And please, try to be kind to somebody. Because it could really change their life. I'll talk to you next time.